Assassin's Creed Mirage. So IGN have got the first hands-on preview for the game. Uh, a lot of people have been looking forward to this only because it's really going back to its roots about the assassins really in this case about the actual assassination part of it but let's just jump right in let's see what IGN thinks based on their preview with the past few games in the series it's felt like Assassin's Creed has lost a little bit of what made it so special back when it launched in the late 2000s now don't get me late wrong. 2000s were extremely solid RPGs 2023 now unique setting and a definite keep that in mind buck in the runtime department but there's something about those games that didn't necessarily feel necessarily <laughs> Assassin's Creed. He just left hooked him. World settings and heavy RPG gameplay mechanics. Thankfully, the next installment in the franchise is Mirage. And based on my playtime with it so far, it manages to capture what made the series so special and brings the social stealth history simulator back to its roots in the best way possible. That's good to hear. Back to its roots back to the original reason why everyone fell in love with Assassin's Creed to begin with. Gone are the vast vistas of England, the oceanic traversal of Greece, and pyramid scaling of Egypt in favor of a dense and populated Baghdad full of Baghdad. That's not to say Mirage ever felt small, but from the few hours I played, I regularly found myself exploring and getting lost in the latest Creed's hyper-detailed and fully realized big city playground. The city of Baghdad is, as it should be in an AC game, its own character this time around. From its dangerous and often crowded city streets to its dense bazaar and connected rooftops, it was never a chore getting from point A to point B. Even with this video quality, like, I can tell the game looks absolutely incredible. I can't imagine it's playing this on like a 4K screen. It's not as easy to run through a group of guards undetected this time around. The more trouble you cause, the more enemies Mirage throws at you, such as archers and overpowered Damn. enemy guards. Civilians will react to your presence and point you out in a crowd if you're not blending in. Because, you know, everyone's a snitch. And guards will notify each other while giving you chase and doing everything in their power to stop you. Bribery and vandalism were the easiest ways to lower my notoriety meter. And moving between the high ground and city streets helped me lose packs of enemies that were surprisingly difficult to fight in groups of more than two. In short, getting chased by guards in Assassin's Creed Mirage felt more like a fun challenge than an annoyance, and in some ways helped bring back that classic Creed feel to the series. Oh, I was gonna say, I mean, that was quite a high combat jump. Mirage feels as tight and as fun as it has in the series of late. The general combat mechanics of Odyssey and Valhalla are here, though enemy levels and damage numbers have been removed in favor of health bars, countering, and dodge rolls. While this may look like a step back into the older game's often easy and simple combat style, Assassin's Creed Mirage's fights felt significantly more challenging and reactive this time around. And if I didn't try to single out my enemies, I found myself quickly becoming overwhelmed by groups of as little as three guards. While dodging and properly timed counterattacks can lead to some pretty sweet kills, it's nowhere as easy of an experience as it was in some of the older entries. And for the first time in a long Damn time, it. I found the combat in an Assassin's Creed game not only challenging, but also fun. It looks like the gods this time can really screw that you end, up. Stealth combat is where Assassin's Creed Mirage truly shines. Moving around the shadows and hiding in plain sight feels more rewarding and engaging this time around. And I quickly found myself trying to stay as hidden as possible as often as I could, even if it was in a busy street among crowds or hidden in the shadows. For the first time in a long time, Assassin's Creed feels like a proper stealth adventure again, similar to the series' early days. <laughs> To put it bluntly, Assassin's Creed Mirage seems set to bring the series back to its roots in the best way possible. The story and gameplay feel more like what made Assassin's Creed so popular in the first place, and it feels like the series has finally realized what was promised back in 2007. While some may not be too happy with the scaled back RPG elements, Mirage's focused setting, intuitive controls, and fun stealth gameplay has me excited to dive back into the franchise. For more on this fall's biggest upcoming games, check out our hands-on preview of Super Mario Bros. Wonder and Forza Motorsport. And for everything else Good in the world shiz, games, IGN. stick with IGN. This is very positive. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. 
it's good to hear from IGN that Assassin's Creed has really gone to its roots and those who are fans of the the original basically are going to be really happy with the game here. It'll be interesting to see how those who are more used to the grander scale heavy RPG element Assassin's Creed will take it or if they'll take any issue with it. Sometimes when a game or series becomes a bit too big, it becomes necessary to kind of scale it down to give a more focused gameplay experience overall, which I can understand why they did that here because Assassin's Creed was starting to go left, right, up, down very quickly. So trying to bring it back to the heart and soul, what made it special is the right thing to do here. Baghdad looks absolutely incredible. Like I said, obviously the video quality here doesn't do it justice, but I can only imagine once you actually play it on your own screens, 4K monitors, 4K TVs, that the detail is going to be right in your face. But it looks like Assassin's Creed Mirage is heading in the right way. The preview is absolutely positive, which I'm super happy about. But let me know what you guys think. Are you going to go pick up Assassin's Creed Mirage? Could you care less? Let me know down in the comments below. For more Assassin's Creed Mirage content, check out this playlist right here and also subscribe to the channel for more content coming soon.